We're here at the 78th Street Studios on West 78th Street, and we're talking about Third Fridays. If you guys remember, this has been a tremendous opportunity every third Friday of the month to explore over 40 different galleries. And uh, the pandemic hit, but now it's back. And the way they're uh, using um, the compliance for COVID-19 is it's a smaller amount of people, so you have to go online and uh, get your reservations. And, but we're hanging out, and you see a lot of the, um, uh, the galleries here say, okay, maximum 10 people is another way to make sure we're COVID compliant. And this is the Byzantine Gallery, and I gotta tell you, um, this is really cool. Uh, Dan has spent several years uh, building his collection to see things and items you probably have never seen before. Right, Dan? Correct. Uh, a little bit of everything. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how many countries I've seen. <laughs> that's, kind of, <laughs> that's kind of the concept as a way to uh, sort of explore and travel the world in different cultures. In, in one, one gallery. In one little spot right here in Cleveland. Tom, go explore. So uh, <laughs> let, let's talk about some of your, I mean, everybody has faves. Some of the favorite countries uh, that are represented here because sure. you kind of like them. Right. Um, I tend to gravitate towards a lot of Indian and sort of Southeast Asian things. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also like to mix it with more traditional kind of Western things. Um, so it's really more about taking all the unique things from all over yeah. and combining them into something that reflects your taste or my taste. And some of the, some of the, your, your clients or some of the people who have become fans over the years would include whom? From different walks of life or, you know, from teachers or students or, or world travelers, who comes in? Everybody. That's kind of the great thing about it. Um, there's such a diverse mixture of people in Cleveland and different objects in the gallery that it's, it's always interesting to see which little, which corner or different thing that each individual kind of is attracted to. Right. And like you said, it's a way to have a worldly influence without having to jump on a plane. Exactly. In your house. <laughs> and you said it started out as a hobby and then just kind of took off. Did you ever think that it would take off as fast as it did? Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. um, I always kind of say that I got the hard part done first and kind of easy. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of got this mixture that people responded to. Mm -hmm. So now it's really just growing the business side of it. Right. And that's been, that was four years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's funny because I see anything that you could have for any corner of your house, you pretty much have that covered, don't you? We try. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reaction real quickly from people for the first time when they come in? Because I know mine was like, wow. It, that, that's exactly it. The, it. It's usually kind of a, a little bit of a surprise. And then they kind of stop for a minute and then sort of take it all in and reprocess what, what they're really seeing and what it's kind of about. That's good, because that means repeat customers. We love that. Exactly. <laughs> you have to reprocess to come back <laughs> in. Thank you so much, Dan, right here at the Byzantine Gallery. Uh, third Friday's happening here at the 78th Street Studios, the way they're being COVID compliant. They have hand sanitizer, but also limiting the amount of people who can come in. So you need to go online and get your reservations. That way, there's plenty of space for everybody to enjoy galleries like the Byzantine. All right, we're going to go back to you guys in the studio, and that is this Friday, by the way. All right, All right. back to you guys. All right, thank you, Kenny.